Have you ever wished you could go back in time and change the way you learned something? I did. So as a DevOps engineer, sometimes I wish I could go back to when I started learning DevOps and cloud and focus on necessary things rather than wasting my time on unnecessary things and tools that I don't use today. Hey everyone, welcome to Cloud Jam. My name is Nasi and today in this video, I want to share with you how I would approach learning DevOps from scratch or what roadmap would I follow if I could start over. So I started learning cloud and DevOps while I was in college and I used to do some freelancing tasks here and there, but then I got an internship and a job as a DevOps engineer at a remote company where I learned all about DevOps. I used all the different DevOps tools like Kubernetes, Docker, Ansible, Terraform, Jenkins, Prometheus, Grafana, all of it. And now as a full-time DevOps freelancer, I use my skills to help people and make a living out of it. So over the year, I've gained a lot of experience. Now I know which tool is important, which is not, and learn some valuable lessons about how to approach learning DevOps effectively. I want to share with you everything that I wish I knew when I started learning DevOps. We will cover a roadmap and focus on necessary skills rather than wasting time on unnecessary skills or tools that you might never use in your DevOps career. So whether you are just starting out or you are already in the field, I hope that the insights and the tips that I share in this video will be helpful for you. So without wasting any time, let's see how to learn DevOps effectively and efficiently. First thing I would do is understand what the fuck is DevOps. And let me explain you this in the simplest version possible. DevOps is a way of working where you bring the developers and the operation teams together to make software delivery faster, better and more efficient. This helps organization to get their softwares to the customers very fast with less bugs and better quality. And to achieve this, you need to understand three important things. And these three things are what DevOps is actually. The first is infrastructure, automation, monitoring. If you understand these three things, you will easily understand DevOps. You can easily learn DevOps. So what do you mean by infrastructure? If you want to create an application, if you want to create a software, you will need a server. Server is an infrastructure. You will need a database. So database in, is an infrastructure. So what does infrastructure means? Infrastructure refers to the underlying system and the hardware responsible for software development and delivery. Second is automation. So automation means automating the stuff that you do manually. For example, if you were to create infrastructure manually through the console, you can automate it through Terraform, through Ansible. So automation refers to the tools and the script to make work faster and easier. So you need to understand automation if you want to learn DevOps. Third is monitoring. Monitoring means you need to check how is your application running? Is it fast? Are my customers facing any issues? Monitoring means keeping track of how your application is working, finding bugs or problems and fixing them right away. So if you want to understand DevOps, if you want to learn DevOps, you need to understand these three terms. It's not about learning all the different tools and stuff. You need to understand these three basic things, which is what DevOps actually is. Now that I understood DevOps, I would start with Linux. Linux is crucially important and you cannot do DevOps or cloud without Linux. And Linux is the most used operating systems for running web servers, cloud infrastructure, databases, mobile devices, making it an important skill for every DevOps engineer. To begin, I would start with learning fundamentals of Linux, like what is file system, what are permissions, how to use a text editor in Linux, what are shell scripting, basic commands. If you want to know the important commands for a cloud and a DevOps engineer, you can check out my this video where I have covered all the important commands that you might require as a DevOps engineer. So first thing I would start is learning Linux and I would recommend you something that I did myself is to remove Windows from your system and start using Linux. Fuck Windows. Start learning Linux if you want to work in DevOps. So Linux is very important. First thing I would start is with Linux. I would just focus on basic and important commands, not trying to master Linux because it is a vast topic. By learning basics of Linux and all the important concepts, you can build a strong foundation for your DevOps journey. So start with Linux. It is very important. After I know Linux, I would start with networking. Networking is very important because many companies that use DevOps are very strict with their networking policies. For example, they want their database to be deployed in private subnet and you won't know what private subnet is unless you learn networking. So in networking, I would focus on topics like DNS or domain name system or a different DNS records like A records, C name record, TXT records, all of these. Second, I would cover TCP, IP protocol and port. 
what is SSH port, what is RDP port, what is MySQL port, all these different things I will learn. Third, I will learn different gateways and route, routing. So what is internet gateway, what is NAT gateway, what are route tables, how is the traffic given out. Third, I would learn subnetting or side range. Subnetting is a concept of distributing your IPs in a particular network. So if you want to know what subnetting is, check out this video. So networking is very important for deploying your applications and to troubleshoot networking issues. So I would learn networking after I learn Linux. Moving on, I would learn virtualization and operating system. So virtualization is powerful technique of creating multiple virtual machines on one physical machine. Earlier, this used to be a very important skill and now still it is. So I would learn virtualization. To start with, I would recommend you to install VMware VirtualBox or Hyper-V or Vagrant, which can help you create virtual machines. I would install any of these tools which allow me to create virtual machines on my physical machine and I would install Linux on it. So when you do this, you understand how to distribute resources like CPU, RAM among all these different machines. And this is very important when you launch servers on the cloud. So you need to understand how virtualization work, how to distribute resources among different machines. And then after you create a virtual machine, you need to understand how to install and configure operating system on it. So I would install a virtual machine, configure Linux on it, and then I would try my hands on on Linux. So this is what I would recommend you start learning virtualization using tools like Vagrant, Hyper-V, VMware, VirtualBox, install and configure Linux operating system on it. You can configure Ubuntu, Debian, anything you like. And then you will learn the concept of virtualization, which is very important for any DevOps engineer. So by learning this, it will be very easy for me to manage and create infrastructure in the cloud. Once I have a solid understanding of what is Linux networking and virtualization, I would start with programming and Git. Earlier, I used to think that DevOps do not require any programming, DevOps do not require coding, but I was absolutely wrong. And I tried to answer this in a video where I talked about how much programming or coding do you require for a DevOps engineer, explaining what are the different real life use cases and what programming language should you choose. So you can check out this video. So I think programming is very essential for any DevOps engineer as it can automate your task. So I would start with learning programming, uh, which is Python. What are different data types in Python? How to create a function in Python? I would learn how to work with different Python modules like Flask, Django or Boto3 so that I can automate and create script for my DevOps task. Once I have understanding and knowledge of programming, I would try to create projects and push it on my GitHub repositories. And to do this, I will start learning Git. So Git is extremely important for any DevOps engineer. Companies are looking for people who have Git knowledge. So I would start learning Git. In Git, I would learn how to clone repositories and how to push to the repository. I would learn how to uh, create and manage different branches. I would learn how to create and submit pull request, merge request, how to write proper commit messages. So all these different things are very important, including all the basic commands, like what is git commit, what is git pull, what is git clone, all the different commands. So I would start learning git as well. By mastering programming and git, I would have the knowledge to automate tasks and to save them on version control systems like GitLab and GitHub. After I learn all of this, now is the time to learn cloud from any top three cloud provider, AWS, Azure or GCP. You can choose any of them. And if you want to see what is the difference between all these three different cloud providers, you can check out this video where I have explained the difference between AWS, Azure, GCP and which one should you choose. For me, I would go with AWS and I would start with the foundational certification. I would recommend you this course, which is AWS Cloud Practitioner Essentials, which I did myself when I was learning cloud. And this is the foundational course, which can help you learn what is AWS, how it works, what are the different services. I would do that course, do hands-on and sit for foundational certification, which is AWS Cloud Practitioner Foundational. So giving this certification can help me build confidence, which can help me in the next certifications, which are associate level certification along with giving me the knowledge required to get started with using cloud. So I would learn cloud in a way to achieve certifications. I will start with foundational certification, then go ahead with associate level, which is solutions architect associate, developer associate or sysops associate. And similarly, by if I have time, I can get more certifications or if not, associate levels are enough for you to work as a DevOps engineer in which you get to learn services like EC2, S3, RDS, VPC, SNS, SQS, Secret Manager, all these important core services. You don't need to learn all the 200 services. 
I've seen people who try to learn everything, but when you work as a DevOps engineer, you need only 20 to 30 services which are required for you to do everyday DevOps activities. You don't need to learn satellite services or robotic services in AWS. That is not required for DevOps. So you just need important services like Lambda, EC2, ECS, EKS, VPC, S3, all of those. By mastering cloud, I will have knowledge to deploy infrastructure and deploy my application on that infrastructure. So after I learn cloud and have knowledge of creating servers, databases, load balancers, VPCs in the cloud manually, I will try to automate it using infrastructure as code concept. So infrastructure as code is provisioning and managing of infrastructure using code rather than doing it manually. And for this, you will require knowledge of YAML or JSON language. And it's very easy. You don't need to give separate time learning YAML and JSON because it's very easy compared to other programming languages like Python. So I will learn infrastructure as code. And in that, I will start with tools like Terraform. I will learn what is Terraform, how does Terraform automate the infrastructure provisioning, how, what is resources, what is provisioner, what is provider, what are variables, what are outputs in Terraform. Then I will, once I master Terraform, I will sit for certification and try to get, get the Terraform associate certification. Next, after learning Terraform, I will go with Ansible. Ansible is a configuration management tool which is used to configure multiple servers at time. So till now whatever you have we have seen is enough for you to get any DevOps job but I would also spend my time learning two more things. One of them is CICD or continuous integration and continuous deployment. CICD automates the process of building, testing and deploying applications, software changes. To learn CICD I would start with the understanding the principle of automation and continuous improvement. I will also learn the different stages of pipelines which are build stage test stage and deploy stage. I would get hands-on training on CI/CD tools like GitLab, Jenkins or CircleCI. I would learn, I will also learn how to set up pipeline, maybe do a project uh, where I will set up a pipeline that automatically builds and tests your code every time it's changed and how to deploy it on production safely and efficiently. So when I have this knowledge, I can make the work of developers very easy and it is a great, great skill for any DevOps engineer to get a job or to grow in their career. I would learn CICD. Next thing I would learn is containerization. In today's market, every application is deployed on containers using Docker and Kubernetes. So I will spend my time learning what is containerization, how is it different from virtualization, uh, what is a Docker container, how is a Docker container created, what is Docker image, what is Docker file, what are different Docker commands. I will also spend time learning what is Kubernetes, how can you deploy an application on Kubernetes, how can you manage them, what is namespace, what is the architecture of Kubernetes. Having this skill can help you grow in your DevOps career and I would definitely spend my time learning Docker, Kubernetes and microservices, all of that. I would not recommend you spending a lot of time because learning Kubernetes is a hard skill. So just understand the basics and while you work in your DevOps job, you can learn more and more because DevOps is all about continuous learning. You cannot learn all of the things at once. I will just do the basics and understand the concepts and see how Docker and Kubernetes is used in application deployment. After I learn all of these tools and technologies, I will showcase my skills by creating projects, contributing to open source or creating a blog, creating a video, anything. So if you showcase your skills or learn in public, recruiters will come to know that this guy has knowledge of Docker, this guy has knowledge of Kubernetes and they will hire you. So you have more chances of getting hired when you showcase your skills on social profiles like LinkedIn, YouTube or blogs. I would do that and I would also recommend you to do that. Try to showcase your skills. For example, this video you can take a screenshot and uh, post on your LinkedIn that today I learned this skill from CloudJam. Uh, this way recruiters will get to know that this guy is learning every day and DevOps is all about continuous learning. So you should showcase your skills and try to learn in public. Last but not the least, soft skills. Soft skills are as important as technical skills. You cannot become a good DevOps engineer if you don't have good soft skills. So when you work as a DevOps engineer, you will work with different team teams like developers, managers, all of them. You need to be a good communicator to collaborate uh, with different teams. So you need to have good soft skills. To develop soft skill, I would attend uh, DevOps seminars or events or communities have in my in my city or maybe online so that I can learn how to communicate network with different people and to collaborate with them which can help me in my own DevOps journey. To summarize if I could ever start learning DevOps again from scratch these are all the skills I would do along with them I would do hands-on 
and create projects. So do as much hands-on as you can. You cannot become a good engineer if you don't do hands-on. Do hands-on, create projects, showcase on your LinkedIn. Uh, and I encourage you to learn as much as you can. DevOps is all about continuous learning. So don't forget to sh share your experience in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.